The Federal Executive of the Democratic Alliance will be meeting for the first time this year over the weekend. Some issues that will top the agenda is the looming legal showdown between the party and Gauteng MEC of Kokta, Lebohang Maile. The DA believes Maile had no legal basis to suspend two of his councillors, Vasco de Gama and Gatlejo Matebe. He'll meet us in court and will be ready to showcase how he has abused his power in order to settle a political score. The issue here is that the ANC is abusing executive power to try and institute a coup in Swani, which they've been unable to do through the council processes. Meanwhile, the fate of embattled Swani mayor, Stevens Mohalapa, still hangs in the balance. The party had since concluded an internal investigation into a leaked audio clip featuring Mohalapa and the former Tswane MMC of Roads and Transport, Sheila Senkoboche. The report will most likely be tabled at the FedEx. FLC will present its report on the work they have done on that investigation to the federal executive. And the federal executive will make its position on the contents of that report. At this stage, we don't know what the report says. But once it serves before federal executive, like any other report, FedEx will engage it and make a pronouncement on the outcomes of that report. FedEx is also gearing up for the party's upcoming policy conference and elective congress that will take place in a couple of months. Or you can anticipate that what will dominate the discussion will be obviously laying the preparatory work for the policy conference that should be completed by the end of April. And secondly, to kick off the process for making sure that we will have that early elective congress, which the review committee resolved upon and a decision was taken at the last federal council meeting that we should have the elective congress by May. The party is expected to brief the media on Sunday post its meeting. Natasha Piri, SABC News, Johannesburg.